Hi everybody, this is uh, David T63. I'm uh, going to change my cylinder on my S410. Uh, it's got a regulator in it. This is the 177 version. But um, I'm changing it back, taking the regulator out, and putting another cylinder on it. A standard cylinder. So basically, to take the scope off, dry fire. all the air comes out and there you go you hear all that air coming out the reason why I had to dry fire it is I've got the T-bar fitting now the T-bar fitting if I just show you That's the T-bar fitting. This is the only way to uh, empty the reservoir of air. If it had the other fitting with a nipple on it, you usually just put a five pence piece in the end of your cap, five pence piece in there, and then turn it on very slowly, very slowly, and that releases the air out of those. So that's all the air out of the cylinder, and then we just. Uh, Take off the silencer, and uh, I shall get back to you once I've taken that off. Hi, David T63 here. Yeah? Now, what we do is uh, remove the uh, barrel ring, take that off, remove the barrel, which are two screws here underneath this mag clip just in that one there that one there that releases the bolt not the bolt the barrel sorry on this side we'll take off Very careful when you're removing this you know, side plate because um, you don't want to lose any bits and pieces. That goes there. And then we, there's seven, six, sorry, six bolts there, which removes the bolt housing. Remember, there's the uh, rubber seal for the uh, transfer port make sure you don't lose that and there it is there look. just put that to one side let's just take them out And there you have it, and there it's at the stage where we can take the cylinder off. And for this job, you need a pair of circlip pliers. Circlip pliers, they're called. And then what we do is there's two holes. If you can see that, two holes there. So then you put them in the holes, be very careful once again, and then you turn anti-clockwise to take the valve off. On this side, you should just, after a bit of persuasion, should just uh, undo there with a little bit of pressure. Well, I shall get back to you on that. Right, hi again guys, right. So I have the circlip pliers now. Sorry, wrong pair, put those there. 
and uh, in it goes there. And just be careful how you turn it. Nice and easy. And then you should just turn with your hand, like so. There you go, that's the top part off. Put that to one side. Now the other end, basically, nice firm grip. If it's not been locked tight, you might might need to use a hairdryer just to loosen it up and good old turn. And it should just come off like so. If you can see that that's just uh coming off nice and easily there you go and that's off now as well and as I said the reason for changing it is it had a regulator in it it hasn't been working very well but if you can see this uh, small hole which is here I don't know if you can see it or not there so I cannot use this no longer if I put it back on the stand without the regulator so that's going to one side the other reg the other cylinder is there so basically Same again, same procedure now. Just uh, putting it, putting it all back together. The new cylinder, the new valve goes on like so. I have to put the detwanger back in. That's just uh, to stop it having a bit of a ping to it. So that goes back in that in there like so. And then it just screws back on, like so, as you can see. But while I'm at it, I shall replace the O-rings. This one here, if you can see that one there. And this one here, which I will replace. Oh, well, there you go. I uh, hope this has been some help to some people. But as I said before, do make sure you uh, take all the air out of the cylinder before you actually try anything like this. Otherwise, you can have a nasty experience. Okay everybody, thanks for watching. It's David T sixty three.